back to my channel. In this video, I am going to unbox and review and show you how to use the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. So let's start. First, let's start with the unboxing of the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. So as you can see, this is how the box looks. Once you open it, there are a few uh, uh, de details in slash in instructions mentioned at the top as you're able to see. So this is the DJ um, magnetic clamp which is given to you know insert your phone inside it so that you can um, put it on the DJ OM6 and as you're able to see you can stretch this from both the sides. These are the anti-slip pads, the ones in black color which you see. It, it is used to prevent your phone from you know, slipping or something like that. It is optional. It's not mandatory that you have to use it. And uh, this is the tripod of the DJI OM6. So this is the tripod as you all are able to see. And it can be attached into DJI or something. Like this is the gimbal. And you know it can be attached like this. So if you want to attend some meetings, uh, online meetings kind of thing, you can, you know, keep it like this and then the, attach your phone here and then you can use it like something like this. Yeah. As you're able to see. Now, this is the main thing. The DJI Osmo Mobile 6, as you're able to see. So, so, as you can see, this is the gimbal right over here. So, this is how it looks. This is the locking mechanism so that you know when you move it, it does not shake. So first let me teach you guys how to you know um, open the gimbal so that you can use it. You, first you have this lever, you have to go straight in this like this and then this, just pull it up and leave it, it's turned on. So this is how it looks, The this is the mode button, this is the record button, this is the you know to rotate it from front camera to back camera, this is the joystick to move the device this is the uh, this is used to for manual focus and zoom to zoom in and yeah this is the trigger button right over here as you're able to see the trigger button and this is used to charge the device it requires a c type it was like the ones required in the uh, modern day phones right here this one yeah so to connect this we have the magnetic clamp this is the magnetic clamp gotta get a phone then uh, you know just connect pull it to the other side like this it should be in the middle yeah it's in the middle now what we gotta do uh, so you it um, you see this point right here and this point right here it should be aligned 
okay uh, uh, once it al- once you align you get that chick sound kind of thing and once it's aligned uh, you got to open dji once once it's aligned and you're d- uh, you're done you have to open a uh, dji the memo app dji memo yeah so you don't get this app in the play store you'll have to do, download the apk version of it which will have to download from the browser come the connect and then connect so this is how it looks uh, so i'll explain you the functions of these buttons now so uh, this button is used to record and uh, record stop the recording and start the recording and uh, the this m button is uh, used to change uh, the modes wait i'll do it yeah it's so the m button is used to change the modes so right now it's on follow mode it has the tail lock then fpv mode and then the spin shots ah, let's keep it on follow for now then this is the joystick right here and this is used to rotate so like if you click it once uh, it'll change from front camera to back camera if you click it twice it'll change from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait then this is used to control joystick then this roller kind of thing here it's used to zoom in and zoom out then if you click on it once it'll go to manual focus mode as you are able to see and it can be used to focus and then yeah you have a trigger right and if you press the rotate button 1 2 3 3 three times then it uh, changes like it's a mode like from video to photo or photo to video yeah then you have the trigger right over here at the behind behind as you are able to see so if you click it once it turns on active track if you click it twice uh, you know you can recenter so example uh, i'll move the gimbal towards this side right now wait yeah example it's this side now uh, instead of you know doing it again like pressing the left thing you can just double press the trigger twice and it'll recenter so that's how it works so i'll show the stabilization of the gimbal now stairs right now and i'm running and i'm and as you're able to see i'll run and show you guys over here okay yeah so as you're able to see i am running and this is how the way it's stabilizing so example you're able to see the building right over there okay I'll do five x zoom and then show you guys the stabilization of that. It's four, yeah, four point nine, uh, about five x. So as you're able to see, this is the stabilization. See? Okay. Now I'll remove the DJI Osmo Mobile Six and I'll show the footage uh, which we get without the DJI Osmo Mobile Six. So let's try without the DJI Osmo Mobile Six. I'm gonna run with the same speed. Yeah. Now I'll try zooming in the building from here 5x while I'm walking. So yeah, it's so oh, sorry it's on 6x. Yeah, now it's on 5x. As you're able to see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is how. So as you're able to see by uh, as you were able to see the shots taken by the DJ Osmo Mobile 6 were better compared to the shots taken using the phone so that is the way how the DJ Osmo Mobile 6 stabilizes the shots which you are taking